Hello and welcome, this is STR Rank, and today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Let's go ahead and hop in and see where we're at. Um, I think I already cleared everything when I was logging off last time, so let's go ahead and check out our gear slots and see how much we have. I think we had plenty open. Yeah, and today I'm definitely in an interested mood of doing some more quest type stuff. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, I, I don't want to do the Demi Guys one a whole lot right now, but I might resort to that here in a little bit. Um, let's do this one in the Shadow of the Bloodline, and then maybe we'll do some on the map after that. Uh, let's see. I think we just need to go here. Yeah, today I'm definitely in a quest mood because, uh, I've always said that you know, broadens the mind. I'm doing the data lean keys and other things that are just kind of one-offs. Anything one -off to do with the dark be heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Ominous is right. Meddling in the Dark Arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? What does the Cruciatus Curse do? It's known as the Torture Curse, Crucio. It inflicts intense, excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting it on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. Oh, that's pretty heavy, man. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me, and more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Okay. So I assume that that's it for now, right? Uh, so we'll check. Yeah. So we just gotta kind of let that be, I guess. Okay, um, let's go to the map and look for quests that way. Oh, it looks like Hogwarts is actually devoid of any side quests at the moment. I feel like either Hogsmeade or the world map had a couple though. Let's see. Lest my eyes deceive me, I believe we don't have anything either. Okay. World map definitely shows a, a little black flag though, so got something out here. Hmm. I saw an ancient power marker up there too a second ago. Ah, there we are. There's two there and I felt like, oh, uh, here's another one too. Let's see about this one. Birds of a feather. Golden appearances. Let's see which one's the most lucrative just for fun. 
Appearances in gold. And wand handles. Okay. Uh, I guess let's just clear out these two first. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Let's have little bunnies. Mother's rolling in her grave, she is. Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Ig Haggerty, robbed by his own sister. Ah, uh, she's robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? I, I, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Good riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me. But us, but I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. Sister or no. What exactly was the family heirloom that the thief stole? A necklace belonged to the first of the Haggerty women. Hundreds of years old. So much history. She'll likely pawn it. Why would Katrin come back to rob the Hamlet if she'd already left? Do I look like a criminal to you? How should I know? She always despised this place. Resented having to grow up here. Perhaps she did it to spite us. Are you sure Katrin is the culprit? It could be anyone. Thanks to that Rookwood louse, we're inundated with all manner of criminal. I wanted to believe it was any one of them except Katrin. But she was the only one who knew where the heirloom was hidden, and she knew precisely which homes to rob. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. You? <laughs> Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer or some such authority. Besides, the thief, my sister, only strikes at night. Coward. Long past your bedtime. What do you Let's have see what to say? sell before we go through and do his quest for him. Now that it's night, I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty. Okay, I guess we might as well go ahead and sell these things. It's uh, good luck for me you stopped by today. Alright, I don't think I'm going to bother with getting any of these. Glad you were able to stop by. Okay. Revelio. A pile of gold. I must be on the right track. It looks as if the thief took more than they could carry. <laughs> this is pretty funny. Making so much money here. Ooh, Ashwander eggs. Look at those. Get in my belly. Rebellion. Oh wonder if this is going to end up being a Niffler or something. More that would be hilarious. I must be getting closer. When the war is over, goblins will rule over wizards at last. Revenue. Okay, let's see. What would be good for this fight? Probably not that. <laughs> right, hit a ranger is stupefy. I want to try to get a Petrificus Totalis on at least one of them. I'm gonna try to get the stupid guy. 
I guess I need to let this guy try to hit me, you know. I'll do the Protego and then let it morph into a super fire. Oh, that didn't go the way I wanted. Maybe I can group him over. You won't be able to stop that student defeating our encampment in the tower. Oh, darn it, didn't hold it long enough. Going to herbology class, I see. Think you're clever, don't you? Protego! Stupid one. Bam. There we go. I won't rest until you're incendiated. Kabam. Yeah. We took too out. late for you to learn the error of your ways. Revelio. Man, I still feel like my character is just a stone cold killer when he says things like that. It's pretty intense. I wonder what this is over here. Oh, that's gotta be part of a Merlin trial. Yeah, that's it over there. I see now. Couldn't I know what that means. Marlin trial. Okay, I think I gotta go in there, but well actually no, it's leading down that way. Let's see if we can do the Merlin trial real fast. That's right over here anyways. Good I think this is just the one I gotta blast everything right. Revelio. I assume there's another one in a weird direction. Oh, there it is. Confringo. Rebellion. Hmm. Another one somewhere. It is. Confringo. These okay. Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Well, that was fun. Revelio. Hopefully, I don't have to complete this all overnight. Stairs next. Not the stairs. Hmm. This looks scary. Revelio. Come on, give me the money. This looks intriguing. Well, this bothers me that it's a pile of coins, but it's actually. Just one coin. Really a lot of twists and turns in this. Revelio. Enjoy suffering, do you? Let's see. Oh, there's a lot more left. A <laughs> Niffler. It wasn't Katrin Haggerty after all. All right. Where's our little thief at? 
Revelio. Well, this is pretty funny. I called it, didn't I? Revelio. Okay, where's our little friend at? This really is picking it up, but hey, there you are, little buddy. Now I also need to get us uh, some glacius going on here too. Revenue. Come here, little buddy. Okay, he ran off. I'm gonna go check his treasure chest for a new side of it again. Then we'll come back to our Irondale Niffler. Okay. We'll wrap it up. Hmm. Revenue. I think I went down into its den. Yep, I totally did. Thanks. Hey. Oh yeah. In the bag you go. The Niffler. Now to look for the Haggerty family heirloom. Okay. That's quite the ways out. Telling what lies in wait for me in there. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Hearing those old Oops. Sorry, I'm running into you. I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Nothing to unmask, was there? We all know that the thief was my sister, Catherine. Actually, sir, the thief was a niffler. A, a what? You know, small. Furry, pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes, where to find our treasures. But I suppose, mangy little blighter. Well, if you found the Niffler's lair, as you say, you must have found my heirloom. I'm sorry, Mr. Haggerty. I, I wish I could say that I had. It was too much to hope for, anyway. Uh, I appreciate what you did uncover. Catherine's a disappointment for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Now, thanks to you, I won't have to. Glad I'll be able to look my neighbors in the eye now. Pity about that heirloom, though. You're the one that helped Agnes with her niffler. Glad she got it back. Hate having those beasts roaming around stealing things. Hello. Nice to see you again. You was... Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and listen to the rest of his story. What sort of products do you sell? I sell all manner of beast products. I always found beasts interesting, and there's quite a market for them. Fancied I could make a profession out of it. How long have you been living in Irondale? All of my life. My sister and I were raised here. I stuck around. <sighs> she had other plans. I hear there's a goblin mine near here. Have you ever seen it? I've been uh, near it, but never in it. I could likely find some valuable beast products, but it's not worth the risk. Ranrock's loyalists are not ones to be messed with. Just having a look around. Thank you. So let's see. Can we still get the family heirloom, or is that quest is now over? Well, that's bizarre. Um, let me look on my phone about this because I thought 
we were gonna actually go get it. Um, maybe I misunderstood. I'll have to watch the stream replay, but hold on one second. Got a look. For the Irondale Heirloom. Oh, okay, so it's near where the, um, it's actually near where the Niffer was. I just thought, um, I thought that there was going to be, like, another clue or something that he was going to give us, like, you know, after hearing about, you know, he's a beast guy and, um, you know, interested in him that maybe he'd have a tip about Nifflers and tell us, you know, where to find the heirloom. Um, so, no idea if I can claim it now, since I don't remember exactly where it was. I think it may have been close to the shield area. This is feeling, this is feeling good, but I'm not positive. I was feeling familiar for a minute, but not sure. Ah, but if you don't fill up too much, you can actually go further. It's true. Eat a big meal, you'll be slowed down. Let me look around on the map. I remember there being a cave thing. Uh, let's see. I guess there's also a chance it'll show up on our map here. There we go. That's just what I need to do. I think this will work. This feels like it could be in the right direction. So maybe I could still get the heirloom, but maybe it's lost to the quest, you know? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if it's like deleted now, so. Okay, yeah, so this is the den, and Rebellion. where do we go? Um, do do look for bottle coins, the heirloom on top. You know, the purple ring area, but the place where Niffler clutch all his stolen stuff. Look for a pile of coins, the heirloom on top, as you can see in this next image. Okay, all right, we'll look and see if we can find it, but it sounds like I'm in the right general area. And this feels like it would be around here-ish, I'm looking. Ah, okay, looks like the ground might be a little bit more rocky, less grass. Can't tell for sure, though. Rebellion. Okay, I see something up here. What is this? Oh, there it is. So, let me see. Now it shows on my thing, but does a quest come up or something? Let me see. No. Nope. So let me go see if I can go to him now. Maybe I can sell it to him or something. Um. Up here in Irondale, so actually, we need to get to the warp. Let's we'll do that. Well, it's gonna be awkward if I go running around with this heirloom and can't give it back. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented. Oh, uh, let's see. We'll get up in the air to try to find them more quickly. Okay, I think it, he may have been. Yeah, here we go. You're the one that helped Agnes with her niffler. Hello, nice to see you again. You as well. What can I help? Ah, uh, 
What do you have for sale? There's no dialogue, so let's see if I can sell it to him. What can I help you with today? Yeah. Wow, that seems like a little bit of Glad an oversight you that you can still collect it, but no apparent way to return it. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Um, this is interesting. There's got to be some way to do it. Okay, let me see. Hmm. Well, don't see any uh, way to do it, so I made this sit in my inventory forever. Um, it's pretty awkward. Okay. Okay. We will um, go see about this other quest. That's interesting. It's like a little bit of a predecessor. Oh, I love bug. good puzzle. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. <laughs> yes, indeed. Talking to myself again. I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested and wait till I tell you about the rumors surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. Where can I find this statue? It's not far from Irondale. It's down by the shore, near those old ruins. You can't miss it. But if I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. Okay, I wonder if this is the one I've already done it. I, I think it, this is one of the dueling uh, locations. So, let's see. Oh yeah, it's here. Okay. I can't remember if I've done this one or not. We'll see though. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? Yeah, it is the one I've already done. Okay, so it already says return to Althea. Okay. I should have a little bit more attention to the markers, but I just wasn't convinced that I did it or not, so okay. Well, that was a nice short quest, easy peasy. Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right, the statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really. How exciting! Yes, I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well 
done. Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. Okay. Another mission down. Let's go ahead and see where we want to spin our talent. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave those alone. Um, uh, yeah, don't feel the best about that either. So, we got 12 points to spin, 6, 11, 17. I'm telling you. Level 40 is a max, is just blah. Not the happiest about that. Yeah, not super interested in these. Like, core just seems to be, to me, almost where it's at. I mean, there's just so many passives that you get that are nice. Um, Let's see what this one is. Wig and Weld. I don't really want to spin on that. Um, I feel like doing this would be nice. Like, just dodging enemies, giving you ancient magic. This sounds fantastic. So, we'll do that. And, let's think. I'll get the one handle from the reward. Or word, okay. What is this one? Beige, a robust wooden handle designed in cream with dark scutian pattern. I had a guess in that word a little bit. Um, okay. I think we had one more side quest um, over here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Okay, come on. There we go. Nice to see you, my young friend. Wonder who lives here. May I have a moment of your time? Mm, I guess so. Pardon? Were you calling to me? I was. I'm Marianne Moffat. Pleasure. At the moment, I'm having a great deal of trouble trying to find a particular Diracle. A Diracle? What's that? It's a magical bird. Muggles call it a dodo and believe the creature to be extinct. But that's because it can disappear whenever humans draw near. I'm worried about a large albino Diracle known as Gwenaira. She's a local legend, so of course poachers are after her. If I had her, I'd treat her like a queen. And I could use her molted feathers as fashion accessories. It seems you're more concerned with the feathers than the bird. But she'd be safer with you than with poachers. Indeed. They'd pluck her feathers and likely kill her when they were through. I can't seem to rescue her, and I'm worried the Diracles don't trust me since I've been hanging about their den. Why are you fixated on Gwenaira and not rescuing all the Diracles? Gwenaira is special. She's more attractive to poachers with her lovely plumage. They'll try harder to take her. The other Diracles seem to have managed evading poachers quite well on their own. Can you tell me what the Diracle Den looks like? It's down by the shore, on a sort of overhanging cliff. You'll recognize it by all of the Diracles lolling about. I'll keep an eye out for a large white Diracle. Oh, thank you. Those gorgeous feathers. And she'd be safe. One last thing. She seems to spend her days in hiding. I've only ever seen her at night. I do hope you're able to save her. 
Be prepared to chase her. I sometimes wonder if she actually enjoys the pursuit. <laughs> okay. Let's uh at night apparently. Let's see about I guess we'll just fly for fun. It's a little bit little ways away, but not horrible. The scale of this game is just crazy. Okay. This is the Diracle then. But Miss Moffat said. Yeah, don't worry. We'll do it. It appears at night. This must be the Diracle then that Miss Moffat told me about. Now, where is Gwenaira? Gwenaira. Oh, I think I see her straight ahead to the left a little bit. Hey, Guinara. Revelio. Come here, little buddy. Come here, little Gwen. Oh, no. Oh no. This is terrible. Uh, let's see. Revenio. They're definitely messing with me, aren't they? She go, y'all. She go down here. Oh. Yep, in the water. Sure enough, I do not expect that. I thought it was a glitch. Might still be, I guess. Please. All right, Bonaire, don't freak out. I'm here to rescue you. Back. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's just a little bit scary. Now I need to let Miss Moffat. Like it's awesome, but it's also just a little bit terrifying to me. Finally getting used to flying in this game. Had a rough go with it when it started. Still think that they Not should sure have done in a little traditional like flying controls, but uh, oh, I've hello. adapted. Any luck finding Gwenaira? Miss Moffat, I caught Gwenaira. That's incredible. Was it terribly difficult? Ah, not too bad, if you know what you're doing. Don't be so humble about it. Well, may I have her now? I guess I'll let her have her. Of course. Oh, you're too kind. She has such exquisite plumage. Oh, I shall make the finest attire from her feathers. And she'll have a good life too, of course. Oh. 
Thank you so much for bringing me Gwen Naira. I shall keep her safe and only use her feathers sparingly. Okay. Let's take the uh, ballerina off of our tracker. Let's see. There you go. And, um, you know, it's, I guess, time to go back to the room of requirement. And since I have a lot of money after that, I may go back to um, Hogsmeade. And I'm trying to remember the name of the place. That's what I'm stumbling on. The um, place up in the north that had kind of the different seeds. Like, I feel like maybe there's something the there I need to buy made. still. But I'm not positive. Let's see if I have anything to identify. Nope. I don't have anything for this at the moment. And I do feel like, yeah, we do have some loom work that we can do. Just doing these. Oops. Nice. And let's go down here and see what's up. Um, I don't think we have any potions to collect. Oops. We we'll bring out all the cabbage so we don't have to go down the whole row. Okay. We're full up on Mandrake. And Tentacula. Yep, we're good. And, you know, we do need some Wig and Weld potion though, just in case we run into like a crazy fight. But, here we go, let's see, I only got a couple more to get. Okay, uh, I think we got everything there, and... We'll go in here, see if we can drop off our other beast. Um, let's see. I think we'll put up our Nifflers. I'll look after you. And how about the Thestral, since we only have the one Hippogriff? And we can get out our Deer Call and. I feel like there is something else that we should get out. Maybe it was the unicorn yeah. again. So, hello, buddy. Nope, oh, nope, not in the bag. Sorry. <sighs> Sorry. Professor Howard will never This is going to keep this. happening. These four creatures are going to be so confused. Um, there we go. Now it's going to be angry with me too, probably. <laughs> okay. There we go. There you go, buddy. It says crap me up that they brought back the dodo for this game. Okay. 
I wonder if they're gonna have uh, fertilizer for the animals, like a nutrient thing or something, so that you can get higher production of whatever out of your animals. That would be kind of both awesome and a little bit weird. But it could happen. Oh man, nothing to use the deer call. Oh, there we go. I wonder if it's like that on this one too. Yep. Good. And let's see how our gear slots are doing. Yeah, I think we have more than what we started with um, on today's stream. So let's go into here. And yeah, can't do anything with that. So I hope that's something that will get patched one day because I really hate that that'll be sitting in my inventory and can't go anywhere. But it won't be the first game I've seen that happen into that happens quite regularly, I think, in games at this scale. Okay, so I want to go to Hogsmeade and do a little shopping now because I feel there's got to be something that I haven't done yet. Um, and I'll start with Dogweed and Deathcap and I'll get there through this warp. Man, I really wish that we could fly in Hogsmeade. Um, that's another weird thing about this. Like, does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Like, what, what made it necessary? Like, maybe there's a quest that I don't know about or something, but, um, you know, from a technical perspective, just looking at the area, I just don't see anything that makes it so different. Um, but, yeah, maybe there's just some, some reason that they really want you on the ground. Maybe it's about forcing that ground level experience or something. And then it could also be that it puts it kind of on the same footing as uh, Hogwarts, you know? Is that it's like they're trying to demonstrate it's just that important. Um, always open. So that makes sense. Be sure to stop by soon. I'd love to hear the uh, developer's perspective. Oh, it looks like a dragon just flew by. Too bad I can't fly back. Oops. Sorry, little buddy. I didn't mean, mean to pull you out. Um, let's see. I needed to check out another store. I'm trying to remember which ones I've done. Um, yeah. Let's see. There's Brood and Pack. Yeah. I don't think there's anything there, but let's go double check. Got I think it's just like, you know, stuff shed by animals and it's not uh, really anything else. So, oh, there we go. I'm a little disoriented. So, you know, this may end up being a bust, but It'll at least get us closer to the other shops. Come in. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Yeah, and we can also sell. I forgot about that. So maybe we should go ahead and do that. Um, that's a shiny, so I guess we'll let this one go. And let's see what else maybe we want to let loose. All right, floopers. Um, we actually have Irondale. Okay, so your regular Niffler will let you go, because we got the Irondale Pilfer. It's an upgrade, so bye-bye. Um, that's it as far as what's in my inventory. I think everything else is a keep currently. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. And let's see. Yeah, we don't need to buy any of that stuff. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Okay, we'll step back out. And let's see what else is on the menu for shopping today. Um, the Magic Neep, I think, is seeds, and we've already finished that, I'm pretty sure, but I guess we can just kind of 
go here next because this is just changing appearance. So there's nothing to shop there. Um, so let's go forward to this. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I'm all out okay. of the new socks, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. Now, I've heard that our dear Clementine drew you into her butterfly escapades. Unusual girl. Still, it takes all sorts. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I was just thinking, you know, I could buy these eventually, um, just forgetting the style, you know, as well. But... I'm not positive if I these are that looks as if it was made for unique you. because I feel like I've already got that poacher coat. Let me look. I suspect you have a sharp eye for facts. Um, because now I gotta know. So I think it was a poacher coat that would have been in here. So there we go. It's an appearance. Hmm. I'm not immediately seeing it at least. No, there it is. The poacher coat. Yeah, that's what I had. So that's awkward. Um now it's got me questioning. Let's let's go back and look at the stats because maybe it's just a higher level version of it. Yeah, it's it's a level twenty seven. That's what that is. Um so I could buy it, but there's no real advantage to that. So let's see. Refined dueling gloves, those are twenty sevens. Um, that may be better. It looks, first glance, like it is better. Um, dark Arts, level 26, 200. Yeah, let's do it. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. We found our first deal. That's a glad Listen, let's put it on. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Okay. 27 and yeah i think that once we get the upgrades on it like this one it's gonna end up working out better so we'll go do that um maybe after we're done shopping okay we don't need to go here i guess let's just work our way over um we'll go to pippins on the way back by whenever you're about. I don't think I can buy anything at Zonko's yet. I wonder if you can ultimately or not. I don't know. in a bit okay let's see yeah just want to double check but no we've got we've already got all that stuff you have okay. a good head for business haven't you no one can say i don't keep a stack shelf let's go to pippins Whoa. oops soundtrack buddy my huh. tomes and scrolls I, I think I have a couple things I can probably long. buy save me a lot of time and trouble okay these are individual things um yeah nothing to do there I hope to see you again farewell for now Okay, where else we have? What else we got? Um, there is that, but it's just gonna be broom variants. But you know, we can take a look. We're gonna hit up everything today. Olivander's, I think it. Olivander's never has anything, so 
We'll just go on to spin witches. Nice to see you again. Okay, let's see. The Ember Dash Broom, Hogwarts House Broom, Wing Trimmer, and the U Weaver. Yeah, I'm not worried Thanks about that later. Um, Hope to see you again. We'll go out over to um, Tomes and Scrolls now. And if it, it makes even halfway sense to buy something, I think I will just to clear it out. Now we'll get us down Let's to the look brooms. Let's what we have, shall we? Large pot, medium pot, two medium pots, and three small pots. Okay, thousand, sending fifty. Um, that'd be thirty-two fifty, I think. So thirty-six fifty. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Oops. Okay. Um. Well, good. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. It may actually work out that those, you know, tables end up, uh, you know, looking really good. So, I can, might be able to do like a right angle setup, whereas I couldn't do that, or maybe a plus sign or something. Kind of like I did with the um, potions tables. So, yeah. Um, let me think. Could do one more harvest at the room of requirement. Um, kind of feel like another quest, but you know, we're coming up almost on an even hour here, so it's feeling like a good pause point overall. Um, Let's look through our challenges here and we'll clear off everything that we can. Oh, I did want to upgrade my current clothes. So maybe we'll do that in the round of collection at um, our base of operations. And let's see what else we got here. Ah, it's a sniffler mask. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Oh, I had one more left, I guess. Or more. I wish so bad we could sort these in some different ways. I'm just kind of shocked that they uh, didn't have some sorting options throughout the menus. Um, okay. So, back to the room of requirement. One last round. Okay. Take things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. No uh, unidentified. And this is where we need to do some upgrades. Okay. And let's weave in the level three. If we can. And these are all unlocks coming. Um, this sounds pretty nice. How about concentration three though? Yeah. Okay. Run down here and do another round of collecting everything. Um, while we're at it, we'll do a quick review. I think it, I think it maybe Tentacula is the only other thing I need. Yeah, I don't need Mandrakes. Just trying to get the sh shrivel big. Having a hard time seeing it today. Um, so this should be. Oh, those are still cooking. That's crazy. Um, they take a long time, don't they? 
Let's see, we got 25 Wigan Welds, and let's go check on our beast. Okay. Looks like job Renaults could use some attention. Come here, little buddy. Oh, caught you. There we go. Let's see. So they're all recently taken care of. I'm not going to hurt you. So let's uh, take out our floopers. Because it's been a while, I think. And then our toad can come out, out, back out. Let's look at our moon calf. And how about our post skeins? Um, there we go. So they'll take time to regenerate. And once they're done, um, we'll come back and collect. So, oh, yeah, you look forward to getting another Vivarium. Be and feels like it's, it's time, you know? All right, let's take a quick look at these other flower pot arrangements I have. I don't think that they're going to be ideal, um, but we need to get out Conjuration Spell, and it's down there already, so, well, well, unfortunately I had to get rid of something, though. That's the problem. I think maybe it'll at least let me render it, though, without forcing me to take it up first. Um, there's the two pots with large pots. Composters, okay. Two large pots, medium pots, and small pots. Five small, three, and A. Oh, they're big, okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess it is a different style, so. You know, if I wanted to go for a diverse range of style, I could do that. Or almost like I've got a motif of something more uh, dangerous is growing in that. That would be cool. But yeah, with the efficiency being so low, um, that's going to be, I think, a problem for now because until I get further in the game, um, kind of like having my stations and. Uh, yeah, that small one especially, that would eliminate, you know, the ability to grow, you know, five at once. I mean, that's a big, tough pill to swallow. Um, let's go ahead and look at the two medium, though, or there might have been, let's see, three small pods. Um, let's just see how it looks out of curiosity. Yeah, kind of the same story. You know, it's, uh, you know, cute, I suppose, but... It doesn't really get you um, anything more cute, I'd say, than the five. It looks like five is basically a continuation of the three. It's just, you know, kind of doubled over with the lamps and stuff. Kind of split in the middle. That's interesting. That's clever. They did it just different enough. It's hard to tell that's what's happening, but I think it is. So that's cool. I might be misjudging a little, but they're very similar. Okay, let's go ahead and roll credits and say it's been S tier rank. Follow me on... Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube, and I'll have an upload on YouTube here soon. Thanks, and have a good day.